Xverse Pool offers a free non-custodial stacking pool with up to 10% APY returns in Bitcoin. Stacks integrates with Bitcoin, using it as a sediment layer to enable smart contracts and programmability. It employs the proof of transfer, POX, consensus mechanism, which uses Bitcoin's proof of work to secure the Stacks network. In this system, miners transfer Bitcoin to stackers for the right to mine Stacks blocks. In result, this secures the network and links Stacks directly to Bitcoin security. The benefit of a pool is that you can stack with as little as 100 STX, not having to worry about the 100k minimum if you were to stack on your own. With stacking, there are lockup cycles where your funds can't be transferred. This only comes into effect when the lockup period actually begins, but until then you can still move your funds. For more information on stacking stacks, check out our Earn Bitcoin by Stacking with Xverse Wallet blog post. If you haven't already, make sure you download the Xverse Wallet via one of the links from our website. During this example, we'll also go over the setup process for Ledger to make sure you keep those stacks nice and safe. Once your Xverse account is set up, click on the account name at the top and then select Connect Hardware Wallet. This will start the setup process. If you already have a Ledger device associated with your Xverse wallet, you can add stacks to it without going through the whole setup process again. What you need to do is click on your hardware wallet and select your Receive view addresses, and then you'll have the option to add a Stacks address. From here, you'll now be prompted to link your Stacks address to your Xverse wallet. Now when we go back to our wallet, we'll be able to see our Stacks balance as well as our Bitcoin balance. For now, we'll continue as if you're setting up a ledger for the very first time. When you're connecting your ledger to Xverse, make sure you've got the Bitcoin app and also the Stacks app installed via Ledger Live on your ledger. As we want to be able to receive Bitcoin from our rewards for stacking, we also want to make sure we include Bitcoin. If you do intend on using the device to store ordinals as well, it is highly recommended to start with a fresh ledger and do not use Ledger Live to transact Bitcoin. Using your ledger to confirm, you'll need to verify your Bitcoin payment address and also your ordinal receiving address. They are two separate addresses. The Bitcoin address pays for fees and transaction and stores your Bitcoin balance, whereas the ordinal address just stores your ordinals. You will then go through the same process, verifying your Stacks address and connecting it to your Xverse wallet. To make your life easier, you can also pin the XFS app in the menu bar, making it accessible with one click. Once you select your account name again, you'll see there's a different option. We can select our ledger at the very top, and now we have access to our Bitcoin and our Stacks account. All we need to do now is deposit the minimum of 100 Stacks into our account to then start stacking. Once you have received your Stacks, you should see your balances updated. If you're on a mobile version, Clicking this icon here will allow you to start the stacking process from inside the app itself. But being that we're on the desktop using an extension, we're going to go to the website pool.xverse.app and connect our wallet that way. Once your device is connected, we want to select Start Stacking. Now all we need to do is add the amount that we want to stack, which in my case is 100, and then add a receiving address for our rewards. Being that the rewards are paid out in Bitcoin, you'll need to make sure you're using a Bitcoin address. For this example, I'm just going to use the one that's in that same account, but it doesn't have to be the one that's in that same account. The stacking itself is interacting with a smart contract. This allows the contract to act as your stacking delegate. The final step in the process is then to confirm the delegation to the XFS pool smart contract. It is also worth noting that the pool locks just before the start of the next cycle, and if there's insufficient balance in your SDX address at the time, no lock will occur. Now that's all complete, you'll get an idea about when the next cycle will start, how much SDX is locked, and your estimated APY. At any point in time up until your stacks is locked, you can cancel the stacking. Once the new cycle has started, 
you will then need to wait until that cycle finishes before you can withdraw your funds. This has been a short overview about how to stack your stacks.